I'm Scott Flansburg, the human calculator. Max, if you tell me your birthday, okay, the month, the day, and the year, I can calculate what day of the week that you were born on. Would you share it with me? 21st of November, 2001. Th Wednesday. You were born on a Wednesday. Wow. Um, November the 24th, 2002. You were born on a Sunday. Wow, that was a Thursday. You were born on a Thursday. You were born on a Wednesday. 28. Times. 14. That's 392, I think. Yep. All right. Um, 45. Plus. 93. Plus. 37. Plus. 81. One more. Um, 74. 350. 350. Is that right? Math is the most powerful language on the planet Earth. It's the most precise, the most popular. And I know it's impressive to be good at magic and amaze other people, but I promise you the most amazing thing you can do is turn on the calculator in your brain and be able to do mental math in everyday life with no hurries and no worries. Numbers are a language. Every language has an alphabet. The alphabet to the language of numbers are the 10 digits zero through nine. But what happened is, is we've all learned to think about numbers from one through 10. We've all learned to count on our fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And that's okay if you wanna count your fingers. But if you wanna think like a human calculator, when you turn on a calculator, it always starts at zero. The only reason a calculator works is because it starts at zero. So if you wanna turn on your human calculator, try this, zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Numbers are really zero through nine. And when you get that in your head, the rest of numbers will line up and all these other patterns will reveal themselves to you. Here is a simple pattern that exists within all numbers that will help you feel like a mathlete and turn on the calculator in your brain. The largest number on a calculator is the number nine. So right now, write down your age. Add those digits together and put that sum underneath your age. And now subtract that sum from your age. And I promise you, your answer will add up to nine. For example, 11. One plus one is two. 11 take away two is nine. Try 15. One plus five is six. 15 minus six is nine. Let's try 22. Two plus two is four. 22 take away 4 is 18. That answer, 18, 1 and 8, add up to 9. So right now, try it with your age and make sure that you get back to 9. And all I ask is after you master this, please share it with one person in your life who's worse at maths than you. Thank you. I am counting on you to be a part of World Maths Day coming up on March 6th. We are gonna have over five million students from over 200 countries around the world racing against each other to help us find the best mathletes on the planet. For more information, please go to worldeducationgames.com and be a part of it.